you know, there's obviously not a lot of gaming news because it's the holiday season and the whole industry is pretty much on holiday break, including myself. I'm just at home doing nothing, looking at TV, playing some video games, but I really wanted to do some content. And looking on Twitter, there's always content, right? You can always find some reason to do some type of content. So I'm realizing that there's still some people, some PlayStation fanboys out here saying that Xbox has no games. Now look, I will be the first to admit that the Xbox series generation, they didn't have a lot of first party content for the first six or seven months of the generation. Yes, I will fully admit that. Um, but things changed when Psychonauts 2 released. I know it was a multi-plat, but obviously it's from an Xbox first party studio. Then we have Forza Horizon 5 and Halo Infinite. So yes, it started off a little slow, but Xbox is doing some great things and started with Psychonauts 2. And in my opinion, they will never have a drought again. They will never have an exclusive or first party game drought like like they had at the beginning of this generation. Never again. Now, the thing I wanted to talk about before I get to the games, I wanted to talk about, I'm still confused why some of these PlayStation fanboys are saying Xbox has no games. Now, these aren't old tweets from six years ago, from three years ago. These are tweets these people made a few days ago. Like, look at this guy. He made this tweet on Christmas day this year. This is the best you can. Xbox still has no games. Look at yourself, sir. Do you ever just look back at the tweet that you just tweeted? Do you just say, damn, I should delete that shit? Well, obviously not. Then you have this guy. He's talking to somebody. I don't know, blah, blah, blah. All I'm going to go for is the, for your information, Xbox still has no games. Certainly no new games. And that isn't changing soon get used to it as you see he dropped this on december 21st these are recent tweets and people are still saying xbox has no games wow now here's another guy only a pc and a playstation is obviously the best way to game don't need no shitty xbox since it has no games or exclusives hell shit still uses batteries now listen um Sometimes when you have these narratives, they need to be true, right? You can't just make up a narrative out of your ass. You know, when us Xbox guys, we say, yo, PlayStation, they don't have any holiday first party games. That was the truth, right? That was the truth. Even when PlayStation guys said at the launch of the Xbox series, Xbox don't have any first party exclusives. Hey, there was truth there. I'm not going to lie just to fit a narrative. There was some truth there. Xbox didn't have any first party games for the first six or seven months of the generation, but obviously that has changed. Now, ladies and gentlemen, these folks are still saying Xbox has no games. What the hell is going on with these people? <laughs> I mean, they just dropped two huge exclusives the last couple of months of the year. Listen, man, I'm gonna say that the Xbox has no games narrative is dead. It should have been dead for at least the half a year. It's dead. Now you look about the, if you think about the future, and I really just thought about this not too long ago that those game droughts that Xbox has had in the past, the beginning of this current generation, those gaming droughts will never happen again. Never again. Xbox has way too much content being developed at the moment. Those gaming droughts will never happen again. Now, if you think about 2022, right? Start off in February, we have Crossfire X. Now, I understand that's not Xbox first party studio. Hell, the game might be a timed exclusive, but the game is still going to be an exclusive, even if it's for a temporary point of time. Same thing with Stalker 2. Yes, that game might be a timed exclusive, but it's going to be dropping in Game Pass day and date, and I'm not sure how long the exclusive period will be, six months, a year, who the hell knows? But all I know is that we can play it before PlayStation guys can play it on the PS5. Then of course you have Redfall coming next year. Bethesda, that's the first party studio. 
even though it hasn't been announced yet, Forza Motorsport is rumored to be dropping next year. <laughs> That's a huge game. Starfield. Yes, Starfield already has a damn release date. Starfield is dropping next year, and that game is going to be massive. Even a smaller game like Till Dust Falls. That's a game that caught my interest at the Xbox Game Showcase in 2020. That's most likely dropping next year. Hell, Deathloop. Yes, I know it's only on PlayStation, the PC right now, but when that shit drops on Xbox, next year is going to be in Game Pass day one. And of course, it is being developed by an Xbox first party studio. Now that's just the shit that we, we know about or we're assuming. This, well, let's talk about 2023. Hellblade 2, Perfect Dark, maybe, Fable, maybe, Compulsion, new game that hasn't been announced yet will probably drop in 2022. If you think about Ghostwire Tokyo, yes, I know it's coming to PlayStation first, but the same thing as Deathloop, it will be uh, an, an Xbox Game Pass day one and it's being developed by an Xbox first party studio. Avowed is set to drop in 2023. How about a game like Contraband? Yes, Contraband. People forgot about Contraband. I know Avalanche Studios is not first party yet, but it is a Microsoft first party published game, and that will be dropping in Game Pass day one. People forget about Contraband. Just go to 2024. Um, I stated a K2. We have Project Mara, The Outer Worlds 2. Whenever the coalition decides to drop their new game, whether it's Gear 6 or another project, do you guys understand where I'm going? And after these projects drop, the projects from the early generation, like 2021, 2022, they'll be ready to drop another project then. So you understand that Xbox content is going to continue, continue. It's not going to stop. So you PlayStation fanboys, just do yourselves a favor and STFU. Stop with the Xbox has no games narrative. It's so stupid to me, it's dead. Why are you guys continuing to say this? I just showed you guys three recent tweets <laughs> within the last week of some PlayStation fanboys still saying Xbox has no games. Just stop it, just stop it. But look, I'm about to get up out of here, and if you like this video, please hit the like button. If you happen to stumble across my channel and you think I'm decent enough, why don't you go ahead and subscribe. And if you subscribe, please hit that notification bell to know when my black ass is doing some new content, baby. Alright everybody, peace and love, peace and love, shit, damn man. <laughs>